Hello and welcome to another constructed video on MTG Arena. So today, uh, I'm looking at what looks like it could be another contender in this format. Mostly people are playing various uh, combinations of blue and either white or black or both, or red. And so there isn't a whole lot of variety. The blue decks vary between mid-range and control, but they're all sort of the same. And the red decks can be mono red or black red, but again, they're all sort of the same. This is different though. This is a combo deck. So if you haven't seen it before, what Godfarah's Gift does is basically you exile a card from your graveyard and you get a copy of that that's a 4-4 and it gains haste. This card is obviously very powerful, but it costs 7 mana. Luckily, we don't actually intend to pay that because we've got Refurbish. Uh, this is really neat because it's a reanimation spell. It only costs four mana. We haven't really had one of those for creatures in a long time in Standard. And this can only get artifacts, but it sort of indirectly gets creatures because of the God Pharaoh's Gift. And it's helpful that our plan is to reanimate the God Pharaoh's Gift because that also synergizes with how this card actually works. In the process of filling up our graveyard and digging for the gift, we are also filling up our graveyard with creatures that we can reanimate with it. So that's great. And that's mostly the whole deck. We have Minister of Inquiries, Chart of Course, Search for Escanta, Strategic Planning, and Champion of Wits. All these cards exist for milling ourselves out, so we hit a lot of creatures and God Pharaoh's Gifts in our graveyard. And then most of these are also for card selection, so we're very likely to find a refurbish and get to reanimate this. A little bit of interaction, Sunscourge Champion to gain life, Cast Out, and Fumigate for answering their stuff. And then Angel of Invention is the only card that doesn't help us get one of these on the table, but it doesn't need to because this is by far the best thing to reanimate. It's so powerful. Because normally the gate for how strong this card is is that it's only a 2-1, but when you reanimate it, no matter what you're reanimating, it's a 4-4. So you get a big, nasty, flying, vigilant, lifelink angel that buffs all your other creatures, you can either choose to get a couple of 2-2s, two since it buffs the servos, or you can just have this be a 6-6, six six, and either way you're going to be fine. The sideboard is just a bunch of reactive cards, basically uh, gunning for whatever it is you want to beat. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the competitive constructed. Uh, I would like to show sideboarding, even if this deck doesn't sideboard much. Uh, my opponents will, so I need to see how well the deck will play through a bunch of abrades or anything like that. One goes first, that's fine. This is one of the only decks in Standard that I really don't mind going second, because the extra card really, really matters. Every card you see can make the difference when you're digging for refurbish. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. Any third land and I'll get to see a lot of cards, and I have things to keep me alive against red. And I have something to do on two. Yeah, every single extra card you see really, really matters. And even if I'm going second, even if my opponent were playing a red deck and they were aggressing on me really hard, I can just reanimate a God Pharaoh's Gift on four and easily catch back up. Okay. I think I strategic planning here. I don't need to bin any of these cards. I kind of want to bin the Angel of Invention, but this also lets me see more cards for digging towards a land. They might be countering it. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think this is what you want to fight over. This is like my whole deck. Okay, so now we just need to bin a gift and we'll be ready to go. Okay, that's a lot of refurbishes. Now they might counter this one since I haven't played a land yet, and they might sniff out that I'm short. Okay. Um, I've already got an angel in the yard, so I've got a good thing to reanimate with gift, even if I draw it. And I've got a refurbish. Do I want a second refurbish? I think actually I'm going to bin the Sunscourge champion. Upon it playing some sort of mid-range or control deck, this is really not a very good card in these types of matchups. Okay. So 
are coming along nicely. I think I'm going to use the Champion of Wits here. <clears throat> also, I want to hang on to the second Refurbish because my opponent is playing a blue deck. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh. Uh, they are likely to have counters, and so I need to be able to jam through a second refurbish when the first one gets countered. So my deck is really not very good if I don't get uh, God Pharaoh's Gift on the table. Okay, I'm not playing white. Hmm. I think now I'm going to play Search for Azkanta, because it's either going to resolve, or if it doesn't resolve, I get to play the other one. Okay, that's fine. The card I'm really scared of here is the Scarab God, which and so I am definitely hanging on to this cast out. Um hmm. I think I bend that. Cool. Question is do I angel or do I champion? I think I'll just angel here. <clears throat> well I'm I'm fine with this, just playing cards that I don't really care about that much. I don't need this Angel of Invention, need this Angel of Invention to win the game. I'll still Desert. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I need that. Transform, sure. Opponent doesn't even have a Field of Ruin, so I'm in great shape. I'm going to play this other search for Azkanta and just not flip it, continue to use it for card selection and milling things out. And I can just start activating this. Opponent's still in five lands. Even if they had like a Torrential Gearhulk or anything, they couldn't play it here. They could Glimmer, and then it'll be kind of hard for me to win just because they'll be up so many cards. Yep. It's possible that I'm supposed to be jamming, like, Champion of Wits, but I, it's not like I have a whole bunch of this effect. If they counter it, I don't get to do anything else. I'd like to look for another land. Okay, that's fine. Because if I hit another land, I can play Champion and be leaving up Search, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, sure. Now even if I don't hit a land, I'll get to do something and still champ. That's cool. Problem is, my opponent probably has a bunch of counters by now because of the Glimmer of Genius, so it's just going to be very hard for me to resolve anything. Sweet. Will not transform, because I already have one. Have the land, so... see what my opponent does. I'm going to play this. This will be my bait spell. Hopefully they decide to counter this because then I'll get to refurbish and basically win the game. I don't think they're going to counter it. They can't really afford to because they've seen me bend the Godfarer's Gift. They know if I have a refurbish I'm just going to be very, very far ahead. I hope they do though. If this resolves, I'll probably just play a Sun Scourge champion, just play to the board and get something going. Which leaves my opponent in an awkward spot, because they don't want to blow a counter on a Sun Scourge champion because it's just nothing, but four power on board is like pretty legitimate while I'm also casting must counters for the rest of the game. I suppose I might not be playing Sun Scourge because I might draw something better. Definitely bidding that. I think I bin the Charter Course. <clears throat> oh, I already played a land this turn. Oops. Well, that's fine. It'll let me double refurbish next turn. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and play this. And so yeah, my opponent's in an awkward spot. They don't really want to counter this, but they're not doing anything else with their mana, and four power is like a little too many. Yeah, that's such bad value for them.
opponent's turn. Milling a land, even though they've been missing on land drops. Maybe their deck's curve is really low? No, they already have one. Weird. Uh, definitely put that in the graveyard. <clears throat> This card's been great. Just like sitting on the battlefield as Think Tank. Alright, I'm going to... No, I want to re pre-combat do this because there's big payoff for resolving it. And now I've got three must counters. So I'm leading with the refurbish because I'll get to uh, play another one even if they counter it. And then next turn I can just try for the gift. Again, I've had cards that I didn't really want to discard that much, but I'm really hanging on to this cast out. Okay, they had another disallow, that's fine. They will flip there as Kanta, and that's kind of bad news for me. But yeah, I really can't beat a Scarab God, and so I definitely need to be playing around that. Okay, flips. Uh, sweet. That's actually perfect. Because... Okay, this isn't tapping me out of white. They have a negate here. I guess I'm in a little bit of trouble. And I'm playing into Sensor and Syncopate for one by slamming the Refurbish, but my opponent doesn't have Disallow up, and this is probably the best opportunity I'm going to have anyway. And again, I still have another Must Counter for next turn, so. Awesome. I wish I had a Champion of Wits. I kind of just want to draw cards, but that is not available right now. I think I make servos. My opponent already blew one fumigate. They can't have that many more. Oh, they, they did fumigate me, right? Oh no, that was a different game that I played. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, choose one. Yeah, I'm just going to choose the angel. Yeah, I should. what I should say is when I've been playing these Esper control decks, I didn't have any sweepers in the main deck, and so it's likely that they just won't be able to deal with a bunch of servos. Fatal pushing this? Yeah, sure. They really should have let that trigger resolve first. Oh! Wait. Okay. Uh, my poor opponent. So, if you didn't see what went on there. When you eternalize a card, can I get it? Yeah, okay. Exile this card, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 black zombie with no mana cost. Eternalize only as a sorcery. So if I eternalized a Sunscourge champion or a champion of wits, fatal push would work. It would kill it. The thing is, God Pharaoh's Gift and the Scarab God are different. They don't remove the mana cost. So this Angel of Invention still costs 5, so their fatal push didn't work. And... This only came up because of the way Fatal Push is templated. Uh, a different removal spell would say destroy target creature with converted mana cost 2 or less, and they wouldn't even be able to target the angel. But that's not how this works, because they need to, it to be able to target a creature that costs 4 or 2. They have to write the card differently. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna slam this. I don't think there's anything that's gonna blow up multiple God Pharaoh's gifts, so they either... Okay. Um, opponent has a lot of energy. They don't seem to be heavy white, but I am gonna end up playing around, uh, Settle the Wreckage here. I don't want that to completely ruin me. I think I'm going to be fine either way. I've got multiple God Pharaoh's gifts, like... Uh, these are just gonna keep making me 4 fours for the rest of the game.
And even if I run out of creatures in my graveyard, Search can find me a bunch of things like strategic planning that'll fill up my graveyard again. Search for Ascanta is going to keep just milling things over. I'm going to be fine. And with the second one, I think I'll get the other angel. Mm. Or, uh, oh, I had two angels in here. Huh. That was kind of not good. Whoops. Yep, create some servos. Let's see, if they have a kill spell for this... Okay. They have a kill spell for this, I can hit attack for four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can't attack for lethal through a kill spell, but that's fine. Yep, sure. Well, now they definitely don't have settle, and I'm even more convinced of it. They're just showing more and more black cards. They probably don't have enough white to run settle even if they wanted to. Huh. Yeah, if I'd gotten another angel instead of this, I would have killed them. That was... Uh, I was not actually thinking about what's in my graveyard. Whoops. Okay, sure, that's fine. Let's slow this down. Hold that thought. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yeah. This is just very unlikely if my opponent's not playing cards like Subtle or Wreckage. And even if they were, like, I was just going to continue getting so far ahead. So, I still want the cast outs because they are very good against the Scarab God. I do not want Fumigate or Sunscourge Champion. Can't afford to board too much in this deck because, uh... Because it has such a linear game plan, if you dilute the game plan too much, you're not going to be able to win. I don't know if I have anything else that I really want to cut. I would like to get Jace's Defeat in my deck. There's some argument for Ixalan's Binding, but I don't think that's very good. Hmm. It does make me wonder what exactly these are in for, like why these are in the deck. I should say, I just completely copied the top eight list from Grand Prix Pittsburgh. I didn't change a card. But yeah, I wonder what exactly these are for. Like, maybe I'm supposed to trim down on this sort of effect, since I'm not just trying to combo as quickly as possible. I could buy that. Uh, I don't think I want the Dislaw, though. I think this is fine. goes first again, that's fine. Um, yeah, this hand's excellent. I am guaranteed to see a gift, but I have a way to loot it away. Reactive spell, value card, everything's great. Sure, I'm probably gonna cycle that. I don't think I'm going to want more than one cast out in a game. Like, if they play a Scare of God and then immediately follow up with a Teferi, that's bad news for me, but I, I don't think I hold cards in hand playing around that being the eventuality. Okay. This card is really interesting because you have so many ways to get stuff into your graveyard. Like, strategic planning is likely to leave you with a bunch of lands in there. This is likely to just actually be a real card, which is kind of cool. Okay, bin the gift. Seven mana artifacts are not exactly how you win. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Play the champ.
Yep, draw some cards. I think I'm going to bin a land and probably the other champion to eternalize later. I might not need six lands, but I think I'm likely to cycle this one. Which maybe I'm supposed to hold the champ and bin this straight off. Hmm. Do I think the getting is going to get better for this? Kind of. I think I'll just uh, attack with this. I'll cycle this main phase in case I find a strategic planning or a chart, of course. Actually, this was all wrong. I forgot one of the basic rules about playing against these control decks. Turn four is when you pick your fight. Like, this is the turn that they want to resolve Glimmer of Genius, and that's the turn that they get really, really far ahead and it's hard to come back. So this is the turn I have to force a play so that they don't get to resolve Glimmer. So, opponent's going to counter it, so I'm not going to really lose value. It's not like I missed an attack, because there was no way that was resolving. But, always remember in the current standard, turn 4 is when you have to pick a fight. And, well, I get to pick a fight again. It's possible that I wanted to Angel of Invention here. Because that would, next turn, let me cast the Refurbish and cycle the Farmland, so it would use my mana better. Okay, put it running low on cards. Torrential Gearhawk would be annoying for me. Okay, I'm guaranteed all seven lands, so I can cycle this and still be able to eternalize, so that's sweet. Uh, I'm going to attack first. It loses out on a point of damage, but it gets through too if my opponent is going to, like, Gear Hulk disallow to counter my angel. Now I would like to bait out as many Disallows as possible, because Disallow is one of the only cards that can stop Champion of Wits. Since it has the Stifle mode, it can uh, stop this from returning. And it's even worse, because Eternalize is part of the cost. The exiling the creature is the cost. So if I pay the mana to Eternalize, this is out of my graveyard. It's gone, so I won't get another chance if they stop it. Okay. I think they were very uncertain about letting this resolve, but they did decide to do so. So, missed on a point, but... Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. This is a weird card to have in against me. Like, it killing individual creatures, even exiling is good, it's better than destroying, but... Getting rid of individual creatures is not really how you beat me. Hmm. Now this quest, this turn, do I eternalize Champion of Wits? Or do I use my card draw spells to try to dig for something better to do? I think I'm going to attack and then go for this. Got to disallow, they get to stifle it, and they have enough mana to do that, plus Glimmer. Yeah. Hopefully their last card isn't Glimmer. Okay, it was not. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to lead with Strategic Planning. Uh, sure. Alright. I was thinking that I was going to cycle the Irrigated Farmland and then animate Hostile Desert and attack, but I'm just going to play this Angel. More servos. Opponent apparently has bricks in hand. It was just passing through priority, so they can't have much going on. Yep, okay. That is that for the first match. Cool. Uh, 
it's interesting, those control decks are supposed to be some of the harder matchups, but that kind of went exactly how I would want it to. Alright, on to round two. Uh, that first match was really encouraging, just because I think if this deck has bad matchups, it's going to mostly be the control decks. The counter spells are very difficult to deal with game one. It could turn out that, like, a Braids out of the red decks are enough for them to keep me off getting anywhere, but between Sunscourge Champion and the giant lifelinking angels, I think we should be okay. Lost the die roll again. Uh, I guess. We have one of our combo pieces. We've got lots of ways to bin stuff, so I think we're likely to be able to get a God Pharaoh's Gift in the yard, and these will help us find a white source. And this might be able to catch us up if we fall too far behind. Okay. I mean, that's fine. If I draw a God Pharaoh's Gift, I will chart a course so that I can bend the gift. Okay. For Folk, I will be glad to have a Fumigate. Hopefully we don't die before then. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and strategic planning, because we don't need to discard any of these cards. Oh my. Well, we do need to find white. Thankfully, there's no straight-up Lord of Atlantis in this format. It's fine. I didn't want to target my opponent's stuff anyway. Wow, that is most of our islands. I think Minister of Inquiries is better here because next turn it'll be able to start milling us out real fast to find the refurbish and that still lets us... What it should have done is chart a course first to try and find a white source, but uh, I think this is fine. So I will strategic planning first, I guess. Sweet, perfect. Take Glacial Fortress. Then I will take Minister. We don't yet have any creatures to get back, but uh, we get a few looks at that with this milling us for three. Hopefully we hit an angel. Okay, they got their lord. We'll be taking a fair amount of damage here. That's fine. Hmm. Awkward. Target myself. Perfect. Awesome. I hope they don't have a counter. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll make servos here because they're pretty good blockers since they're two twos. And unless some opponent has something good, that's probably going to be the end for them. We get to chart a core, spin another one next turn, making more angels, and just beat them up. Sure. Yeah, I don't think they want to attack. If they did, I'd just be suspicious, because this eats anything, so it would imply a pup spell. I'd probably just take it, because... Yeah, I'm just going to attack for millions this turn. Oh, I suppose it's better to champion of what's first. Because I might not want to be discarding off of... Oh yeah, I get to draw three. Sick. Uh, sure. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Like, there's nothing that I want to reanimate more than Angel of Invention. So... This one I'll just put counters on. I'll go ahead and draw two cards. Sure. And I'll mill myself with the minister, but I don't think it's going to matter. This game's just super over.
I played the three color, the blue, white, red version of this deck uh, a while back. Uh, and I really did enjoy the games where it worked, because, like, this is obviously so insane. My opponent had a not terrible draw, getting all these creatures onto the board, but a turn four, or I think, did we get this on turn four? Maybe it was turn five. Uh, attacking with a giant lifelink haste creature in the air was completely unbeatable compared to my opponent's creature deck. Okay, so what do we want here? I think we want the Sun Scourge Champions and the Settle the Wreckage. Maybe the Angel of Sanctions, but I don't know about that. Cast Out is kind of slow. Uh, need to cut one more card. Maybe just the one Sun Scourge Champion. Angel of Sanctions could be fine. This is even the type of matchup where it would even be pretty good because they are unlikely to be able to kill it, so this is just sort of an Oblivion Ring with a big Angel stapled onto it. But I still think I like all of our current stuff better. Just in general, with combo decks, err on the side of not overboarding. This hand's pretty bad. I think I have to mulligan this. We don't have either combo piece and no way to fill up our graveyard. This hand's much better. We need to find a land, but we get a few looks at it, and if we hit one land, strategic planning can help us with the rest. Okay, that's not a great draw, but if we draw one land, it should be fine. Sure. Perfect. Um, guess we just keep taking lands. Just want to hit our land drops. This will be good just for setting up a refurbish. I think we're likely to be in good shape. Minister is going to mill a lot. We have a lot of looks at a God Pharaoh's Gift and a Fourth Land. Well, that's kind of annoying. Well, we found the gift. And, like, just making 4-4 four, four Ministers is not that bad. So. Cool. Found the Fourth Land. Um... I think I'll just run this out. It's a better blocker. I don't need to do the Champion of Wits thing yet. There's some incentive to try to dig for an Angel so that we'll get to reanimate one of those next turn. But I don't know that we need to win that way. We'll see if they actually play anything here. If they don't, that telegraphs a counterspell pretty hard. In which case, I'll probably just play the champion. I don't need to... Because their attacks are very bad, so they really need to be playing cards. But if they play cards, they know that I'm just going to refurbish this gift and kill them. Also of note that this next turn, I'm going to untap my minister, so I am going to get to mill myself again. So I do have three more looks at an angel, even without playing this last turn. Yeah, sure. Yep, probably gonna bend that since they already have one. Okay. Uh, so I will mill myself. Perfect. Angel. 
make my servos so the ground is all locked up. Can I attack with this? Nah. Probably being a little too conservative here, but I'm just going to win the game so easily if the game goes on for a long time. Okay. Um, Alright, sure. The opponent is delaying the inevitable. Yep, sure. Oh. Why did I only draw two cards? Oh, it lost all abilities from the Merfolk Trickster. I get it. Um, I'll pitch this island. Doesn't do anything right now, but that's fine. Uh, I would get back... Let's get this champion of wits. Oh, yeah. This is losing value in a couple ways, because now I no longer have the... Uh... Oh, perfect. I'll go ahead. I'm just going to attack with this. Oh, but... Reanimating it with the gift next turn would have been better because the angel would make it larger, so I would draw five. And also, now I just don't have a, a champion of wits in the yard to eternalize normally. But I don't think either of those things are really going to matter this match. Oh, huh. I should have been to the angel because I don't get to bring back the angel now. It's a little awkward. Oh well. Again, I'll just be fine. I can just play this and reanimate like a Minister of Inquiries and my whole board will be so enormous they don't really have a chance. Yep, sure. Yep, their attacks are not good. Maybe I should- it's funny, I hadn't thought about it, but if I had aggressively traded this off earlier, it represents a discard outlet for the angel. Yep, sure. Oh, huh. If I'd thought through this more, I could have set a stop right here. And then when I reanimated the first minister, I could have milled myself with this one once I got that energy. And to look for a better creature off the second trigger. Because another weird thing about God Pharaoh's gift is that it does not It does not target like the Scarab God does. You just choose during the resolution step. So that also makes it excellent against uh like any targeted uh Graveyard removal, like surgical extraction type effects, because even if they take your angel, then you still just grab the Sun Scourge champion or whatever, and they can't really do anything to stop you, short of exiling the whole graveyard every single time, and that's very difficult to do. Hey, I want a die roll. Cool. Um, sure. Lands and lots of ways to dig. Don't have either of my combo pieces, but between these, I think that'll probably be fine. Because of the nature of my deck, I see so many cards. There probably is some consideration for holding the irrigated farmland. Because I'm likely to be able to hit my land drops normally. Yeah, I think I will do that. Well, I think I know what I'm looting away. Like, maybe my opponent's on Black White Knights and I'll look silly if I do that, so... I'll hold it for a little longer. Okay, discard one card. I think... I think I'm discarding a land. And I think it's the basic island. Because I'm not going to need this colored mana, I've got plenty of sources. Uh, and I might decide I want to mill myself with the rivulet. If I find a refurbish, but haven't milled a gift yet. Okay. 
Well, that makes me look a little bit silly, but whatever. Uh, the thing is about Forsaken Sanctuary is we do have two black-white dual lands in Standard between Concealed Courtyard and Isolated Chapel. So the only reason to play Forsaken Sanctuary is if you are very heavy on both of the colors. Like, you need to want your ninth dual land. Whereas, for instance, in my two-color deck... Okay. In that... And... Hmm. This Minister is not very good. Because we've already been to the gift. Okay. Sure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this and I'm just going to pass. I am looking to cast out this freebooter and then untap and fumigate. That way I'll get the whole history of Analia. We'll see exactly what they do though. If they attack with the knight I'm just going to block. Because it's like... It's the same total amount of life as if I get to fumigate them both away, but if I decide not to fumigate, this way is better. Okay, they didn't play anything else. Interesting. I think I'm still going to do it. I'm not going to fumigate, because I'm not fumigating just one knight token, but I do want to like have the fumigate at the ready in case my opponent commits more to the board. This turn I get to Champion of Wits and Cycle Irrigated Farmland. Perfect. Oh, I need to discard two. Um, oh, I think I discard this Charter Course. Uh, that was wrong. I should have pitched the Irrigated Farmland and Charter Course. Because it's like, it's just more looks. It's... Draw two, discard one is the same as draw one, but I also would get to discard an angel. Yeah, that was really wrong. Uh, I think I'll cycle this now. Oh wait, I already made my land drop for the turn, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my gosh, we're messing up everything right now. Unless they have another freebooter, we're still fine. And even if they do, we're... Okay, taking a lot of damage, that's totally okay. I mentioned that Vraska's Contempt is not how you beat this deck. This is definitely not how you beat this deck. Champion of Wits, draw tons of cards. Itch, a couple extra lands. Go ahead and attack. Yeah, that... If they don't have any main deck way to remove this God Pharaoh's Gift, that game was super over. Okay, black-white stuff. Settle the Wreckage looks good. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is where I want the Angel of Sanctions? Sun Scourge Champion, probably just okay. So there's a couple cards. Do I want anything else? I don't think so. As always, erring on the side of just not boarding too much. I don't want to be left with a bunch of good reactive cards, but an unplayable combo deck, because this deck really does live and die on getting God Pharaoh's Gift going. That's the only thing that matters. Opponent, not in great colors to be dealing with what I'm doing. The best colors are blue to counter the refurbish, and red to hold up a braid and just very cheaply instant speed mess up what I was trying to do. Like they can have like Thopter Arrest or Cast Out or anything, but those are a lot clunkier and harder to work with. If they have a bunch of duresses that could mess me up taking my refurbish. I think the best card that people had moved away from that they're going to have to start playing again is Scavenger Grounds, because especially if you pair it with other deserts, it is very easy to just 
two or three times nuke my whole graveyard. And it's not as 100% game over as it is for the versions with Gate to the Afterlife, because that that really needs to completely fill up its graveyard. It can't just have, like, two good cards in there. But it's still really nasty and difficult for me to deal with. Uh, this is much too bad. Ew. If I had, like, a land and some Champion of Wits or Charter Courses, I would consider it, but... Well, okay. I was scared that it had put me to five. This is better. It needs some help. Land is part of the help it needs. But it's got good stuff going on. One of the cool things is that even if this doesn't find me a refurbish, it's pretty easy for strategic planning to find me something like a Champion of Wits that will dig me more and enable other things. So, like, the enablers finding each other is great. Uh... Oh. I already have a sweeper in Settle, so I think I take the refurbish here. I would love to draw, like, a Charter Course next turn. Or a Champion of Wits would be best, because I can bend both of these. That's a little irritating. Luckily, like, I have two different game plans going on here, and so this is, like, not completely effective no matter what they do. Because if they take the Settle, then they can attack with Impunity, but I'm really threatening just going off. Yeah, I think that was actually a good take. Because they can play around Settle, and without the strategic planning, this, is, this whole plan is, like, not working. That was a terrible draw. If I hit a couple lands, I can just, like, play the fairway. Don't even need to do any of this. But mold a six, have it be awkward, and then them taking one of my enablers is definitely how we can actually lose this matchup. Opponent missed their third land drop, though, so maybe we'll have some time to draw out of it and just win the fairway. Okay, that's a little annoying. That was the worst draw in our entire deck. Okay, deck is not cooperating. Maybe we'll be okay? I don't know. I mentioned that I played the Jeskai version. This is why I stopped. Because I had a bunch of tournaments where I'd get into the Swiss and I would just run the tables, just smash everyone. It's like we weren't even playing the same format. And then I get into the top eight and then just dig and dig and dig and never see a God Pharaoh's gift or just the deck doesn't do anything because I've got a bunch of seven drops and it was all awful. Okay, this was the worst of our enablers, but it's still something. Still technically in it, but we would need, like, the perfect mill into drawing a land. We shall see. Okay. Here we take four, five, six, we're dead on board. Okay. Uh, I don't think that changes anything. <laughs> we got mana screwed and died. I go first. Ugh. No blue. Yeah, I think I have to mulligan. Overall, I think this deck can mulligan very well. You don't need that many cards to really get going. Uh, especially because a lot of your enables replace themselves with uh, strategic planning and stuff. But, that said, against discard. 
Oh my god, this is the same hand, but much worse. I think I keep it now and scry, try to find a blue source and pitch this. I don't think going to five is how I win this. Opponent disagrees. <laughs> nope. Alright. Really need an island. I suppose I'll cycle this cast out. I like what opponent's doing more than the other versions of Black White Knights that I've seen. Oh my god, come on. There are only six planes in the deck. <sighs> We've seen five of them in our top eight cards. That's ridiculous. Opponent breaking off even worse than we are, though, so I, I guess there's nothing really to complain about. Sure. Hopefully they miss on black and just have to play a bunch of white creatures, which we get to kill with our Fumigates. Honestly, if we hit another non-blue source, we'll probably just Fumigate just this night. Perfect. Thank goodness. That's great, especially because this is our sixth land, so we get to strategic planning into refurbish. Hopefully ban a creature and get to reanimate it. They missed on black again, so we're not going to... We're not going to get our hand messed up. Well, that's really gross. Huh. Do we get rid of this? That's interesting. I think I'm actually going to ditch the planes. Like, refurbish uh, to get the gift for one angel is just, like, not even that good in itself. I'll feel really bad if their way to handle it is, like, an exile card. Yeah. Opponent's oh, deck just not cooperating. They didn't find the other black source, which is really unfortunate since we've seen they're playing at least one Forsaken Sanctuary. They really built their deck so that this wouldn't happen. Alas, it is Magic the Gathering. Bad things happen sometimes anyway. Oh man, I think they're probably going to kill my angel. If they wait, it'll be mostly okay. Okay. If they had main phase killed this, it would have been awful for them. Let's see, I'm going to build myself. Keep clicking on the graveyard. Or my deck, but. Uh, we hit something. Ooh, I like that. That should be it here. Yep. Well, we went 3-0, and it wasn't actually that hard, so maybe this deck really does have the stuff. That said, we weren't playing against the really good decks. There was the... the control deck was pretty real, but we didn't play against black-red at all, we didn't play against, like, the blue-black mid-range, so... Take it with a grain of salt, but either way, I'm happy, and I'll talk to you guys next time.